we got a landmark victory on October 30th, telling Tucker Carlson, we discovered that there's a backdoor portal into Twitter and you should cover this. Nothing, silence. And then in May of 2021, this is the next thing I sent him, right? Because now the judge ordered Twitter in. Why would you not cover this? Fox News acting like they care about free speech. See, first case showing government works hand in glove with Twitter. This is, look at the date, Sean, 2021, when you could have done something, when you could have had an impact reaching millions of people. He did nothing. And then two years later, Tucker Carlson supported the dissemination of the DHS leaks. So now The Intercept does their limited hangout story and they say, oh my God, we've discovered this backdoor portal into Twitter. And fucker Carlson acts like Mickey the Dunce and he says, quote, this seems like a really important story, which for some reason is being ignored. So he puts Lee Fang on, gives him the limelight, who is hand in glove with The Intercept. Yep. And in that story, Lee Fang never talks about the fact that it is The Intercept's founder who created the Center for Internet Security, which is a backdoor portal. Doesn't even mention our lawsuit. They all act like they're doing Mickey the Dunce. This is Contel Pro like we were talking about. This is pure CIA shit. We need to build a bottoms up movement. Go to shivaforpresident.com and volunteer.